a man whose name ends in love and is known for the adventures as an African-American cowboy in the Wild West. Stay tuned for more as we share interesting facts from the biography of Nate Love. During the 1870s and 1880s, many black men took part in the cattle drives as cowboys up the Chisholm Trail from Texas to Montana. When looking at that, one of the most famous of those cowboys was Nate Love, better known as Deadwood Dick, the champion of the West. The life of Nate Love spanned from 1854 to 1921, where he was born as a slave on Robert Love's plantation in Davidson County, Tennessee. Growing up during a time where many black men were not allowed to read, that was not Love's story. Although he never formally went to school with help from his father, Nate Love learned to read and write. After the Civil War, slaves were freed, and that's where Nate Love would go on to work on various plantations because he was skilled at breaking horses where he headed out west. That is where he earned his title, Deadwood Dick, in 1876, while during a cowboy tournament in Deadwood City, South Dakota, he succeeded in roping, tying, bridling, saddling, and mounting a wild stallion in nine minutes. During this time in history, there were not a lot of discussions on the contributions that black cowboys had on the West, but that is where Nate Love produced his autobiography, The Life and Adventure of Nate Love, better known in the cattle country as Deadwood Dick. Although Nate Love boasted about sensational adventures there in the West, many people doubted the reality of the stories, but it helped to add to the excitement and storytelling of the West. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, sharing interesting facts for students about black history. <laughs>